whole hell of a lot we can do for you. <laughs> Joe Duvall sent me a text. He's watching at home. He said, that was a hell of a race. I said, yeah, Martin snuck up on me a little bit there. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was making sure you saw him coming. That lap traffic was a mixture. Of, he got in the mixture, and like he said, he took a five wide and stuff. He was just lucky to get it through there, but we're modified racing now. So here we go. We'll see what the mods can do. 25 laps. The leader on lap four gets a bonus. 400 bucks as well. Steven Bauer is going to be on the pull. This one, the 77. So Bowers will be on the pull. This one, Ryan Gilmore to his outside. The 4966. Row two on the inside, Ethan Broxma. Broxma out of Newton, Iowa. The 111 alongside the 11 of Sawyer Krigler. Krigler out of Alton, Iowa. Row three to the inside. We'll find the 15M, Shane DeMay. Alongside the 01A of Drew Armstrong. Carl Murphy, the X2M on the inside of row four. William Gould to his outside. The 60, row five to the inside. Mitch Keeter, the 52, alongside Robbie Reed in the five. Jody Tillman, the 80. We'll line up on the inside of row six. Michael Abel's the 61 to the outside of row six. Tyler Hibner, the 89 on the inside of row seven. Cody Jolly to his outside, the double zero. James Thompson, the 11T on the inside of row eight. The OX of Steve Picu on the outside of row eight. Timmy Hill, the 51 on the inside of row nine. Chad Lyle to his outside in the 16S. Trevor Drake, the 12D. And Shad Batter, the 73B, your lineup for tonight's 25-lap, 2,000-to-win, modified A-Main, brought to you by Performance Bodies. Rolling in a little bit of moisture laid down along the top couple grooves of the Springfield Raceway. Jerry Hoffman out there checking it out on his four-wheeler as well. What a racetrack he prepared here this evening. Man, oh man, that late model race, tough to top. You could race top to bottom anywhere you wanted to go around the Springfield Raceway. A tip of the cap to Jerry and crew on a great racetrack. Here we go, race fans. Let's wave them off down the front straightaway. You're modified. Amen. The tribute to Mike Clark brought to you by Performance Bodies. Your 25 lap, 2000 win, modified. Amen. Coming to green this time off of turn number four. Here we go, green flag for the modified. Your performance bodies modified. A main goes green at Turkey Bowl 13, brought to you by Bad Boy Moors. Steven Bowers takes the field into turns three and four as we come by to complete lap number one. Bowers will be your leader here on the opening circuit. The 49-66 Ryan Gilmore in the second place spot. William Gould trying to work his way up to the field early in this one. They're two and three wide, just as they were in the late model A-Main. Working top to bottom here in the early goings of the modified A-Main. Gilmore racing for second with Ethan Broxma. Shane DeMay in the middle of three wide with Drew Armstrong and Sawyer Krigler. They go three wide down into turns one and two. Armstrong to the hub, DeMay in between in the 11 of Krigler. Up off the racing surface for a moment, he jumped that outside berm and got up and out of the groove. That allowed the 60 of William Gould to work by the 11 of Krigler. That's just outside of your top five for the sixth place spot. So Gould now into sixth and the 60 is out in front. Stephen Bowers sets the pace in the 77. Ryan Gilmore works in the number two spot. Broxma in third, Armstrong in fourth. And the 15 of Shane DeMay, that's the top five. Six runs the 60 of William Gould. Krigler in seventh. Keeter in eighth. Tillman in ninth. And James Thompson, that's the top 10. So Thompson rounds out your top 10 runners in this one as they all chase Stephen Bowers. That's 77 out in front of your field.
Stephen Bowers leading this one from the drop of the green flag. Gilmore in the second place spot, Drew Armstrong. He's got a perfect score here this season, the Springfield Raceway in that 0-1A car, three for three. Right now runs in the third place spot just behind the 49-66 of Ryan Gilmore. Side by side racing there for the number two spot between Armstrong and Gilmore. Proxima runs in the fourth place spot. And Shane DeMay, a pair of Iowans, fourth and fifth in this one. Broxma and DeMay. Krigler still in sixth, seventh now Gould. Eighth is Keeter, ninth Robbie Reed. Top 10 now rounds out with the 85 of Tillman as we got trouble down in turn number two. And it looks to be Gilmore. So Gilmore not happy with the 0-1-A of Drew Armstrong. Did not see what happened, admittedly. But Gilmore not happy with the 0-1-A of Drew Armstrong after that. And you can see the left rear door nearly torn completely off of Gilmore's ride. Some sheet metal damage as well on the 0-1-A of Drew Armstrong. As Gilmore heads pit side, I believe Drew Armstrong being sent to the tail of the field for contact there with the 49 66 of Gilmore, so Armstrong will be sent to the back of the field. So Stephen Bowers, the 77, scored your leader. Ethan Broxman, Shane DeMay, the Iowans now. They'll gain a couple spots off of that. Ryan Gilmore to the pits, Armstrong to the back. So all of a sudden, Broxma and the 15 of DeMay find themselves second and third. Sawyer Krigler now in fourth. And William Gould rounds out the top five. Mitch Keeter in sixth. Seventh, Robbie Reed. Eighth, Jody Tillman. Ninth, James Thompson. And I believe the 12D of Trevor Drake will round out your top 10 as some things getting shaken up there off the caution of that one again just saw gilmore sitting at the top of the track with heavy left side damage and then being told that the 01a of drew armstrong has to go tail back with him as he is going to protest at the flag stand and now the black flag being displayed to the 01a the only thing i could think of is drew armstrong was running the bottom and and Gilmore was running the top, and I say probably when they came out of turn number two, I, I don't know if Armstrong might have slid up there because they both had, Gilmore had damage on the left side and Armstrong had damage on the right side, but didn't get much for a good view on there. It's kind of dark over there in turn number two, but you got two uh, not very happy drivers right there as they are both now in the pit area. As they still pace around Springfield Raceway, getting on up here, straightened out as our modified feature here. All these drivers wanting to take home that turkey with the check. As now they're being told to double it up as we're getting ready to go back racing.
Here we go. Caution lights have gone down. We're coming back to green off of turn number four. Race for the lead down the back straightaway. Ethan Broxman now in the mix. He jumps up over the berm and Cody Jolly is headed out of the park over in turn number three. Yellow flag will come to the air. So Ethan Broxman had just about done the same thing. He kind of jumped up out of the groove over in turn number three. And then Cody Jolly drove straight off the banking over in turn number three to bring out the caution flag. But again, Broxman nearly did the same thing. He'll get bailed out as he had lost two or three spots after jumping up and out of the groove. And then Jolly again going over the end to bring out the caution flag. But that was very welcome to the Newton, Iowa racer, Ethan Broxma. Yeah, go ahead. You got it? Well, I know I I'm sure it's probably a wild ride off of there. Turn number three there with no wall being there and a bunch of embankment down there, but it's where the tow truck is now down there and digging out the race car. Cody Jolly, his first year behind the wheel of a modified, qualified directly into tonight's race. He had several 20 plus win seasons behind the wheel of a B mod, including two Division II NASCAR national championships but again first year behind the wheel of a modified ran around 20 races plans on hitting several usmts races next season he was at the grant young hands memorial last week at the lake or excuse me at the 81 speedway so he ran both the chisholm trail showdown and the 81 speedway last week having a rough go here tonight in the a main as they continue to try to get him dug out of the backside of turn number three For all of your latest videos, go to videos.showmedirt.com. For all of your latest videos, go to videos.showmedirt.com. There you see the double zero of Cody Jolly being pulled back into the pit area. So sounds like we're going to do a single file restart this time, nose to tail. And the caution flag staying out we've got a four-wheeler still over at the top side of turn number three so not quite going back to green but it will be a single file restart when we get back going in this one Stephen Bowers your leader Ethan Broxma in second Shane DeMay third Sawyer Krigler fourth William Gould fifth Mitch Keeter sixth Robbie Reed seventh Reed's dr driven from deep in the field in this one the five of Robbie Reed So Reed in seventh, eighth is the 85 of Tillman, ninth is James Thompson, and the 89 of Tyler Hibner now rounds out the top 10, and it's Steve Picou in 11th, 12th is Trevor Drake, Michael Abels in 13th, Timmy Hill in 14th. Top 15 looks to be Shad Batter, and then Carl Murphy and Chad Lyle, the remaining cars on the track here for tonight's performance bodies, A main for the Modifieds.
So I believe track officials have cleared from the speedway, furled up green flag displayed to your field, single file nose to tail this time off a of turn at number four. Looking for a good restart now, it's performance bodies. Modified A main, Stephen Bowers out of Topeka, Kansas. Your leader in this one, a pair of Iowans behind him, Ethan Broxma, Shane DeMay. A Show Me State racer, Krigler in fourth, and an Oki. William Gould out of Calera, Oklahoma. That's the top five, so State's pretty well represented amongst the top five in this one as we go back green. William Gould throws a slider almost for the number four spot. They're going three wide there as Mitch Keeter works down to the inside of Gould. Krigler to the outside, still three wide off of turn number four. Mitch Keeter now in the mix now, a past Turkey Bowl champion working the hub of the speedway. Powers ahead of the 60 of William Gould off a of two and down the back straightaway. Krigler still holding on to that fourth place spot. They're trying three wide once again. Robbie Reed, Reed's on the way as well in the five. Keep an eye on the Mexico, Missouri racer. And we've got trouble over in turns three and four. I believe that is Carl Murphy in the X2M. So Carl Murphy sitting sideways over in turns three and four forces it to slow the field once again in this one. Mitch Keeter, Robbie Reed, a couple drivers to watch on that last restart. Keeter was all the way to the bottom group of the speedway trying to shorten this thing up. And Robbie Reed pretty well working the hub of the speedway as well. Those two right around the fifth place spot. Keeter in fifth, Reed in seventh with Gould in between in the sixth place spot. Carl Murphy trying to find his way either to the tail end of the field or to the pits. Looks like he will stay out on track, just getting caught back up to the tail of the field. So looking at another single file restart when we're ready to get back going in this one, Stephen Bowers. <laughs> Out of Topeka, Kansas, the race long leader in this one, Ethan Broxman, that second place spot. Mentioned earlier in heat racing action, Broxma talked to him before the race, first year in a modified. He had ran B mods across the state of Iowa. First year in a modified, has been traveling around to several of the bigger modified events just trying to get laps he's having a pretty good night and he's racing chassis extreme powered multi packaging and printing number 111 out of newton iowa looks like this will be a double file restart so we will double them up this time around stephen bowers your leader and we go back green off of turn number four So Stephen Bowers takes the field back down the back straightaway. The 111 of Broxman, the runner-up spot. Shane DeMay, Robbie Reed now in the mix at Vanderbilt number five. Don't count out the Mexico, Missouri racer, a regular at the Lucas Oil Speedway. Works down to the inside of turns three and four. And Reed's working his way up to the field in that Mullins powered Number five, he's now in the fourth place spot, challenging down to the inside of Shane DeMay. So Robbie Reed starting to go after Shane DeMay in this one. He'll power ahead in the third place spot that time by as Stephen Bowers continues to pace the field around the Springfield Raceway here in tonight's performance bodies, A Main for Turkey Bowl 13, presented by Bad Boy Mowers. Ethan Broxma still running a great race in the second place spot. Robbie Reed in third. Shane DeMay, Sawyer Krigler, your top five. Sixth is Keeter, seventh is Gould. Eighth is Tillman, ninth is Hibner, James Thompson and Michael Abels. Race side by side for the 10th place spot. Some pretty good racing right around the ninth and 10th place positions in this one. As off a of turn number four, 
The 77 of Bowers continues to lead. There you see him two by two, working off a of turn number four, Keeter, and Brewer did a pretty good one, Tillman. And the 89 of Hibner right there, two by two. Just inside of your top 10 as Stephen Bowers continues to lead out in front in 77. Stephen Bowers with a half a straightaway advantage over Ethan Broxmas, Robbie Reed. Works in that third place spot. He started 10th on the grid. Bowers, your pole sitter here this evening, has led since the drop of the green flag, trying to wire the field here in Turkey Bowl 13. Two laps to go off the of turn number four for the 77 of Bowers. Three wide race in there with the 85 of Tillman, the 52 of Keeter, and the 89 of Hibner. Some good racing there as we wrap this one up. White flag in the air. One more lap to go for Stephen Bowers. Two more turns to make in this one. He led from the drop of the green flag and wired the field in Turkey Bowl 13. Your modified feature winner out of Topeka, Kansas, the 77 of Stephen Bowers. There you have it, the rest of the field crossing under the checkered flag. Robbie Reed finishes up in the third place spot. A good drive for the Mexico-Missouri racer. Second goes to Ethan Broxma. And your feature winner out of Topeka, Kansas. He led all 25 circuits, so he'll pocket $2,400 here this evening as he'll pick up the performance bodies lap leader bonus on lap number four in memory of Mike Clark. Out of Topeka, Kansas, he'll head to Bad Boy Mowers Victory Lane, the 77 of Stephen Bowers, your Turkey Bowl modified winner. Believe they will cross the 77 of Bowers over the scales, then he will head to Bad Boy Mowers Victory Lane, where Shane Edson will have a word with tonight's modified feature winner. Got a very excited driver down here. Getting that trophy as it's sitting on top of the cars. He's getting out of the race car, ladies and gentlemen. Your modified Turkey Bowl feature winner, Stephen Bowers. Yeah. Think he's going to stay up there all night long. He is stuck up there. He's on top of the Stephen, hey, saw the green flag first, and then you saw the checkered flag first. Tell us about it. You are just out on a Sunday night cruise, weren't you? Yeah, we had a tough look at Vegas last week, and, uh, man, uh, we missed the spot. We was leading our last chance race, and we didn't get to make it in. And, and uh, me and Rittenhouse, Tim Rittenhouse, and uh, Adina Rittenhouse, they drug me down here, and uh, only thing he wanted, he just wanted turkey. And I told him I'll get the check, he get the turkey. So... We came and gathered. I'd like to thank all my sponsors, all the fans that uh, came out and on this brutal weather, and Jerry Hoffman on an awesome racetrack, and uh, 
this is definitely a one I want to come to Springfield to get my first win of the Turkey Bowl Classic. I mean, it's the first time here for the Turkey Bowl, and we got her done. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, your modified Turkey Bowl feature winner. First time at Springfield Raceway, first Turkey Bowl. He's taking home the trophy. The dog celebrating on top of the race car. We adding that to the Thanksgiving feast come Thursday. Many late models coming out for their future.